it's nice to kind of cultivate that love and interest in nature and the animals of nature as they get older. If you're a homeschooling family that loves nature and loves bird watching and your children just love all the different varieties of birds, this is a great tool for you to use. Let's take a look. Well, welcome to Shine Bright Homeschool. My name is Kira. I'm so glad you stopped in today because I have a great book I think might be really fun for you and your family to use, especially around springtime and summertime. So this is a bird watching journal from The Thinking Tree. It really encourages nature study and backyard science, which I think is so important for our kids to take in the outdoors within our backyard. It's very simple and a great place for kids to just learn and get vitamin D. Before we take a look inside this, I just wanna say thank you for stopping by. And if you're new, please subscribe to my channel. Share this channel with other homeschool parents that you know need homeschool resources, homeschool curriculum reviews, anything and everything homeschool, I'll try to share. I'm a former homeschool student myself. I also homeschool my son. I really try and share things that I know are useful. So I really hope this can be useful for you today. My channel also has an Instagram now, so check me out on there. The link is below in the description. So let's take a look inside this and see if it's a good option for you and your homeschool students. I love this book. I really think you're gonna enjoy it. Let's take a look inside because I do wanna point some things out to you. So it doesn't really have a table of contents. It is really truly your research. So you're gonna choose a type of bird. You're gonna choose the day it was spotted. You're gonna look at the type of nest, the egg, draw the bird, the type of feathers, any extra research here, the habitat, the food, and the enemies of that bird. You're gonna continue here with the observation notes in the days that follow. So again, there's plenty of spaces in this book for coloring. So here you can put in more about this bird. So common name, scientific name, five other facts that you've researched about the bird. I do wanna mention that they do leave places here for your child if they wanna draw, but you may wanna either look up pictures online and just print them out and give them some color in here to maybe reference. Write a nature poem, draw different eggs of the birds in your region, identify these birds, and then you're going to color them right here. So you're gonna write the name of the bird and color. Again, take more photos. So download and print beautiful birds here. And so basically it's just doing the same thing over and over again um, for the most part. It just mixes it up where it doesn't look exactly the same. Some of the pages are kind of repeated over and over again with different styles, but they really try to make it fun. Again, there's so much potential for coloring, writing poems, and gathering information. So pretty much again, it's going to be that same format over and over again but it does give you tons of space. So if you are on nature trails all the time, take nature walk, or if you're just traveling, if you're a traveling family and are always going, going in your RV or on different vacations, this is a great thing to incorporate during traveling as well. Obviously you're not going to use this entire thing probably for local birds. It really just depends on your area, but it's a great thing to take on trips when you're traveling. So just the thought there, but yeah, it's pretty much the same thing over and over again. But again, I think there's so much potential here. I think you and your kids will really love it. Well, there you have it, the thinking tree. I just love some of these pages in here and I think there's just so much to do with it. You know, they leave it open-ended that way you, your child can color and just do all these things. I think it's a really just different approach to your normal homeschool curriculum. I think this is a great thing to do over the spring and summer when birds are very active and you can go on nature walks and see all different kinds of birds as well. It's just something that encourages your child to research more. And for my son, he loves nature and he loves birds. When we were home a lot back in 2020, I decided to go ahead and get a bird feeder. Since he was really little, he's loved birds. And I think that it's nice to kind of cultivate that love and interest in nature and the animals of nature as they get older. Eventually he may not be as interested at sitting and watching the birds, but right now he is. So I love to use that as an opportunity 
to help teach him and draw him to how to research and how to educate himself with all the great resources out there. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and again, click that notification bell so you know when I drop my next video. Make sure you leave me a comment. I'd like to hear from you and just see how you're doing in your school year. I encourage you if you're almost done or if you're a family that does school all year round, just to keep on pressing on and to make sure that you shine bright, homeschoolers. Thank you.